Hey, it's Verilink here, and today I'm going to show you how to get mods on your Quest 2 with only using App Lab. So what that means is that all you have to do is use the Quest browser that's already on your Quest 2. So you don't have to use an Android phone or a PC or a computer or anything like that. All you have to use is just the browser on your Quest 2. So the first step that you're going to need to do is go ahead and go to App Lab. You can do this by going on sidequest.com and going on the App Lab tab, or you can just search on App Lab on Google and it should take you directly to App Lab itself. Once you're on App Lab, go ahead and search Mobile VR Station. Once you search it, click on the app. It should be the first one there that pops up. Next, you're going to click Download Oculus. Now, when you click that, you're going to be sent to the Oculus store where you can then download it straight to your Quest 2 without having to use SideQuest or a maze or CX File Explorer or anything like that. Next, you're going to press download when it pops up. And now you just wait for it to download. It usually takes maybe five minutes at most. Once the app has been downloaded and installed, go into the app so you can get to know the app a bit better because it can be a little confusing to figure out how it actually works. For example, when you need to click something in this app, you're going to be using the B button for some things and for other things, you're going to be using the trigger button. So it can kind of get confusing. I don't know why they didn't just use the trigger button for everything like every other app, but that's how they made it. So I would say just get familiarized with this once you are in the app. And then once you're finished with that, you're going to get out of the app and then go to your browser. Now, once you're on the browser, go ahead and look up Nexus Mods or whatever mods website you normally use. If you're using Nexus Mods like me, just remember to sign in. It is free to make an account if you don't have an account already, uh, but you do have to sign in in order to use the website. Go ahead and search whatever game you want to get the mods for. Now for me, I'm going to be doing Blade and Sorcery Nomad. Now, once you have looked up the game, scan for whatever mods you want or find interesting. So for me, I'm going to pick this weapons pack, specifically this Katana weapons pack, because I don't have this mod already. Now, once you pick the mod you want, you're going to press manual download, and it should bring you to a new page, and then it's going to give you other download options. Just press the free one, it's free, it's gonna ask you if you wanna donate, you don't have to if you don't want to. You're going to scroll up, not down, and you're gonna press click here to download if it already has not manually started to download. But you should see it automatically downloading at the bottom of your screen. You see the little black thingies, um, you can't really see it because they block it out, the Quest 2 blocks it out, but it is saying, like uh, 20 megabytes uh, to go. It's showing you like a percentage of how much you have left. Now, what you're going to do is just wait on the screen until the downloading finishes and you're going to know that it is finished downloading once all of the black bars disappear, all of the download sequences just disappear. And that's how you're gonna know it's all finished. So don't leave the screen until it's actually finished downloading. Now, once it's finished downloading, you're gonna go ahead and X out of this browser and go on to the app. Once in the app, you're going to press local files, then downloads, and then press the mod that you downloaded. Don't press the little pencil icon, press the mod itself. Once you press the mod, you're then going to be pressing install mod, and then install it in the correct mod folder. So since I'm doing Blade and Sorcery Nomad, I'm going to install it in the Blade and Sorcery Nomad file. And then you're just gonna have to wait a little bit after that, it should be finished downloading and you just press OK. After pressing OK, to make sure that the mod installed, go on the actual game that you install the mod to and check wherever the mods go when you install them. For me, since I'm playing Blade and Sorcery Nomad, I just checked a little book that appears once you go into the game. And as you can see, the Katana Mega Pack has installed basically perfectly. So all the swords work, I test them all out. They do all appear and they're really awesome. So if you're looking to get this pack, I would say definitely get it. It's a really cool pack. They actually have a giant katana in there as well. Um, but yeah, this is how it works. And this is now the easiest way you can install apps on your Quest 2 without using a phone 
or a computer. I know a lot of people in my comments who have watched my previous videos have been saying those videos are not truly native because I am actually using an Android phone or a computer to actually get a maze on your Quest 2 and then doing everything else natively. Well, here is my answer to that, this video. This is truly natively and now you can have mods natively without using anything other than your Quest 2 and App Lab. But if you are looking to get a Maze or CX File Explorer using this app, it will not work. Trust me, I tried because I don't honestly really like using this app and you can't use it to get any other APKs on your Quest 2. So um, if you do want to get a Maze or CX File Explorer, I'll leave a link to my other uh, videos in the description below and the link to those videos should be also popping up now. The first one popping up is going to show you how to get a maze on your Quest 2 and the next video is also going to show you how to get CX File Explorer natively on your Quest 2 without using a computer or anything else. And it is also another way that shows you how to get mods on your Quest 2 without using a computer or a phone. Now as always I just want to say thank you all for watching and I really hope this video has helped you all out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. If you want to help the channel out even more, become a member. Or you can definitely join my Patreon. If you become a Patreon, you'll be able to see your name at the end of all of my videos and you'll be able to get a shout out. If you ever want to contact me or ask me any questions, you can definitely put it in the comments below. I usually read them quite a bit or you can hit me up on my TikTok or my Twitter. Everything that I mentioned will be in the description below. And as always, have a wonderful day or night. Peace out.